is, it's, it's good. Okay, thank you. It is an Easter egg, plain old Easter egg, but we're going to make it into an Easter egg chick. I did this design probably a couple of years ago, but this year I'm making it into 3D features where it's just so much easier for you guys to paint. Okay, and I'm, I swear I keep doing this and I'm sorry, but if you um, if you're new to watching my name is Debbie Poole with DLP designs I'm the owner of it and you can find all my crazy stuff over at paintwood.com and uh, Stepaloo is in the house. Thank you Jennifer. I just can't get used to it. I keep eh, eh, eh. And yes, yeah, Steffi's in here with me tonight. So you're going here's the egg and here's this little feet. You get two of those. Stubby. You're going to get the two feet. You're going to get the beak. And you're going to get the eyeballs. Okay, Let's get to get painting. Going. Here we go. So I've already cheated. Okay. I give it a white coat because y'all know how I feel. Do you see this little one? Can y'all see this little one? one over here stubby? Say hello. Um, anyway, so before you paint yellow, always give it a coat of yellow. Give it, before you paint yellow, give it a coat of yellow. No, give it a coat of white. So I've already given it yellow. Gosh, y'all, I can't find my words. This is kind of bright, so I may tone it down with a little bit of white. Y'all know how I feel about painting yellow. It causes them ugly words to go through my head. That could be it too. Okay, I've given it a coat of yellow and honestly that covered it perfectly since I've already got the white underneath it. I'm gonna tone this down just a smidgen. So I'm gonna take that same brush and dip it in a little white. And gonna just, there we go. There we go, just take a, some white streaks in there. Which, if you ever watch me paint before, I usually do this anyways. It just helps give it a little dimension. It's not so blah. It makes the chicken dance. Okay, that's what we're going to say. We're going to say it just makes it chick dance. Relaxing in bed watching. Well, <laughs> listen, if this is what you call relaxing, bless your heart. Because I'm telling you. My inbox over on uh, Instagram today has been going off like crazy. Evidently, y'all get a hoot out of my normal, everyday, real life happenings. And, but like I told somebody today, it must be like watching a train wreck about to happen. You never know. I fell off the diet bandwagon today. I don't know if y'all can see that streakage in there, but it's really, really, really cute really cute um just working on some orders oh it's friday night don't work on orders don't work on orders turn put the clothes sign out and say you're done okay while this is still with this is totally good like this but i'm even going to go a little bit further around my edges i got a little bit of orange here let me get this godforsaken yellow over here and i'm gonna take just a tad bit of orange dip my brush down in it and mix it over there with that. I'm gonna make that yellow just a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna lightly go around the edges with just a little bit of orange while this is all still wet. Because if you're not doing it while it's wet, it's not gonna blend for you. We're just barely putting any orange in it. We're just kissing it, okay, if you would. We're just kissing it with a little orange. See, it's just adding some shading in there. Add that little shading. So if you're interested in this wooden blank or the printable template, all you gotta do is comment egg. And those are listed in the very same place over in the shop. Again, my undercoat is still wet. That's why this is blending a lot better for me. And I just, and if I get it too dark, just dip your brush back in a little yellow. But can you, hopefully you can see that, that shading around the edges. 
That's what I like. I like the shading. give these humongous eyeballs which I feel like look like mine sometimes I'm gonna give them a real quick coat of black it might be a little easier okay um you can go about this a few different ways if you don't want polka dots don't do polka dots but I think I'm gonna do a few polka dots and I'm gonna freehand these dun, dun, dun. and everybody just gasp for breath at the same time Listen, if you want to use a little template or something, like get a circle, put them around here and trace them and fill them in, feel free. But, um, I'm kind of a fly by the seat kind of gal, okay? I must always start, like to start my polka dots in one corner. I'm just using an angle brush here with some white, and I don't want these perfect. See? I don't want them perfect. And I like to make two, and then make one up here. I like to connect them like a triangle. Just twirl your brush around. And I'm gonna take these two and make a triangle off of them. If you try, bullet leaving a pistol. <laughs> All right, quick draw on this one. This is gonna be so cute. We're gonna try to go ahead and get this glued on and see what we do. So y'all don't have to sit here forever. Who knows, there might be something good on TV tonight. I don't know. Scooch those up just a little bit and put this here. Okay, like I said, I like to use a little mixture of Gorilla Glue and Super Glue. Let me flip these puppies over. And it doesn't take much. I just use a little bit of Super Glue. I wouldn't just use just Super Glue. Use something like the Gorilla Glue that's a uh, What's going on here? Wrong lid. Use something like the Gorilla Glue that's for, um, it's 100% weatherproof, permanent bond. Whoo wee! And might I add, ventilation is a good idea. Between using the both of these. Heavens. are already adhered because of the super glue okay now 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 let me get I'm gonna use um, a little actually I'm gonna go smaller than that a little round brush this is actually a number one this is like a teeny tiny one. Oh, thank you Deborah appreciate it so I'm going to first um, let me get a little bit bigger. I'm gonna cheat and use a little sponge dauber here. Don't want one that big. I'm gonna put, I may go a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna start with this size. Just gonna put a little white dot down here at the bottom. Okay. And now, let me get my black. I'm going to add some little eyelashes on him. Oh, Angie, me too. 
I, oh, spring just makes me ugly. Let me flip him over so I can get this other side. Okay. Now I think, put that back in there, I don't think I need that. I'm going to go and ahead and add, I'm going to add some little pink cheeks out here to the side. Still using that little number one. Usually use number eight, but I'm loading it up pretty good, so I, I think I can get by with this one for doing this. If you are just joining in, you can go back and see the replay and see all of it. You'll um, where you see how I did the shading on it. You can just paint it yellow if you want. That's fine. I did a little shading on it where I did a little white to lighten it in the middle and a little, um, added a little orange in to darken it around the sides. Oh, thank you. I'm glad y'all like him. He's super easy, super fast. I said super fast. I didn't say super fat. Okay. These are things, extra doodads I'm adding you don't have to do. But um, they definitely do add, start to give it more character the more you add to it. Lisa, if you'll notice, no, I don't have a steady hand. I, you got to go fast. The slower you go, the more your hand's going to shake. And if you ever notice, if you watch me closely, I am usually always laying this, the palm, whatever it is, on the surface just to help steady my hand and give me some stability. <coughs> Using the resources that the Lord's given us. Let me get a little bit of pink here. We got to give him some little cheeks. Y'all, that was a paint bottle. That was not me. Don't even think I would make that sound. All right. Now, you can, we can do this a couple different ways. We can just dot on some little cheeks out here, but I'm going to... I don't want them so wham, they're, you know, the rouge. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use sponge dauber, okay? And I'm going to try, I don't have any paper towels in here with me. Of course I don't. I'm trying, I'm going to try to get as much paint off as I can. And I'm going to go out here and just give him hints of rosy cheeks. Kind of dippity dab, if you will. Oh, he's cute. Or she. I would say it's a she by them eyelashes, wouldn't you? Just a little tap, 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 tap. What was that on? Happy Gilmore? just a little bit bigger okay now I think I'm gonna take just I'm gonna dab it in just a little bit of white and lighten it a little bit make sure it's lighter around the edges Aww. look at that face just look at that face and it's sweet Lisa, <laughs> it is cute. Okay, now, um, I'm going to use, where's my orange? Okay, now, I don't think I'm going to use black. I'm going against my own rule here. But what I'm going to do for highlights on the beak, 
and the feet. I'm going to use that orange that I had. I'm just going to take some white and lighten it just a little bit. Okay. Now I, don't, I never mix it totally. I just marble it a little bit. Just a little bit. Where it's just a little bit lighter orange. I don't want it to smack you upside the face. Okay. Gosh, y'all, I think that's about it. What do y'all think? Y'all think it needs to be?